Hello YouTube, the gun not here again. Uh, today I'm going to do a little uh, video on the Alien Gear Cloak Tuck. Uh, this is my Alien Gear Cloak Tuck original or 1.0. One, 1 um, saw that they had a 2.0 version available now and saw that I could upgrade uh, mine by, by, by getting the 2.0 base. So today I received in the mail after uh, a little bit of a wait here uh, the package. Um, you can see it even says rush on it. I called them a few weeks ago to say, hey, I don't understand why is it taking so long. Um, so they did finally get it here after about five weeks. First thing I noticed, you don't have a logo. I don't know if, uh, you know, I thought I've seen, you know, in their videos a logo on it. So there's no logo. I don't know if the rush meant they didn't have time to actually get them printed, if they're behind enough. And, um... You can see I ordered the exact same size base, so same size as I had. I forget what size it was. I think it was considered subcompact or maybe even smaller. I have to double check. It was smaller than I thought. Now this is for my Glock 27. I found that it also works for my Glock 19. Um, so just to show you what it looks like clear the weapon because it is my concealed carry gun and I do keep it loaded most of the time. Empty mag here, just give it the full shape. So here is the Glock 27 in the original cloak tuck. I haven't used this holster a whole lot to be honest. The reason I have not used it is personally I just find it too thick and cumbersome um, for my use. And also typically I have to uh, remove my weapon uh, at various times throughout the day and I find this type of holster just difficult to do that uh, with. Um, that's why I use the uh, fox trap uh, most of the time uh, during the work week anyways. But on the weekend when I have uh, the time to, or when I can usually carry most of the time that's where I'm thinking a hybrid holster like this type would be a little more comfortable uh, for the long haul. So anyways got the, the 2.0 base Looking at uh, adding the shell, you know, taking this shell off of here and putting it onto here, and then seeing how I like it. Now this definitely does feel thinner, which they said it would be, and the inside layer material here, this is very soft. I think that'll feel pretty good against the the body. Um, in addition to that, in the package, I guess just to show you what I got today, I got to have the the sticker, which actually I did not get a sticker when I got the first one, so I guess I'm trading the imprint for the sticker. Uh, also I actually got a uh, instruction card this time. The last time I ordered it, um, it was just a piece of paper. Same instructions printed but a little bit nicer instruction card. Not that that really matters. Uh, and then I also ordered uh, accessory clips. I ordered these hoping that um, it would be a little bit more concealable for me uh, instead of the um, over the belt these go under the J-hook style. So I'll see how these work out for me as well. So I'll probably build up the new one with those. And then also, um, nice thing about Alien Gear, they do give you a lot of hardware, which is good, because I find that I had to really adjust this down to get the tension to my liking on my original um, one. So we'll see how it fits in the, with the new base. But in case I can't find my other bag of hardware, I'm good to go. And then I also noticed that it just came again in this uh, clear plastic bag. The last one that I ordered actually had an alien gear bag. Again, maybe they're just running out of supplies um, with a lot of orders, but it seems like they must uh, be super busy based on how long it took to get a simple part and how there's not even an imprint on it. But anyways, without further ado, I'm going to change this over and check it out with... Uh, okay, the first step here to do the conversion, obviously, is to take off the um, 